Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the DZMC Gaming Channel. We are jumping on to our much-anticipated, highly-awaited Friday Night Blitz, the very first, I think the second one we ever did. And uh, it's been like two weeks since anybody's actually taken a turn or even looked at this map. So we are actually looking at this map right now. And I discorded Shaky, and I said, hey, man, you got to pop online because I just came up with the most brilliantest, awesomest move. Okay, so Shaky, you ready? Hear me out on this. Okay. I'm going to buy 14 infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery, and one fighter. Okay. Okay. So let me, let, me, let me tell you where they're going to go. One infantry is going to go to Karelia. Ten infantry are going to go to okay. Berlin. Three infantry are going to go to Italy. One anti-aircraft is going to go to Western United States, and one fighter is going to go to Western United States. Okay? Now... That's just okay. That's just where I want to mobilize them, okay. As for attacking moves, um, I think we take uh, West Russia. Although I think it might be better if you took West Russia. Um, but one of us is going to take West Russia. Um, and like that... lightly with one infantry. Oh yeah, just one infantry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and okay. you're going to take, uh, you're going to go to C zone six and you're going to take, uh, Norway with, with one guy. Okay. That's right. You're going to take your transport that's in the C zone or one of your transports. Well, actually all of them can go back there, but basically one of your transports is going to pick up the other guy in the UK and land him in France. You're going to okay. move, you're, you're going to move all of your guys obviously into Berlin. Okay. Including the guys in Poland, you're actually going to move up to the Baltic states. I'm going to move seven infantry from Poland into Belarusia. I'm going to do that. You're not going to move any. And then the remainder, I'm also going to move to the Baltic states, along with everything that's in Berlin right now. Now, I know you're getting nervous. <laughs> I'm going to hear the whole thing before okay. I react. Okay, so that's that's what's going to happen. So we're going to feign like we're moving into the Baltic. We're going to try and hold Karelia and then try to dead zone West Russia and Belarus. okay? He's going to think, well, the hope is that he's going to think that's a mistake. Um, because he's going to say, oh, my God, he's too far away. He can't get back to Berlin. He's going to go to Bulgaria, Romania. Or that's the plan. We want him to go there. We're going to stay in Belarus. Um and you're going to add some planes to that. I, I, I calculated with just seven infantry, we give him a 44%. So if you add an, any, any kind of extra planes to that stack, it goes even down even lower. So I want him to believe that we're pushing and we actually just overlook the fact that he can just jump to Bulgaria, Romania and take Berlin the next turn and, okay. by, and bypass Poland. Okay, I want him to think that we made a mistake there that we're thinking that he would have just gone to Poland. Whereas, we're going to still be in Belarusia, and we're going to build our units, just, just the 14 infantry, and I just told you where they're all going to go. Your guys are going to go to Berlin. That we're going to have two builds here. We're going to have this build, and we're going to have another build where we're going to be able to put everything into Berlin, including all of our planes at the end of it, including all of the guys that are currently in Baltic state are actually going to go back to Berlin. Okay, it actually works out to we're going to have over 100 units in Berlin, around 38. He won't have enough to take it. But by that point, we'll be in West Russia, and once he loses Moscow, the game is over. He'll never be able to retake it. And we'll be able to inde indefinitely uh, defend Berlin. Now, as for the fleet, in 56... I was thinking about buying fleet there, but I'm actually just saying buy one plane. The one plane is actually going to land in Western United States, and the anti-aircraft is going to go there. I suggest we move the fleet without the aircraft to C-Zone 19. Leave the two planes that are in C-Zone 56 also on uh, Western United States. Pull the guy from Alaska over to uh, Western Canada. Pull the fleet... Uh, my fleet from uh, C zone 14 over to C zone 12, they will link up the next turn in C zone 19. Okay. Your fleet, I like all that so far. Your fleet yeah. is then left 
to Go move ahead. into C Zone 8, and then you won't need to worry about those bombers anymore. You can go anywhere you want from that point on. Including so, C-Zone 5. Including C-Zone 5, where you'll be able to supply Karelia, Baltic State, or Berlin, or whatever whatever the case may be. You'll now have the ability to do that. So we're going okay. basi to basically say, screw Africa, bye-bye Africa. Um, I'm going to take one of my transports and grab this guy from Morocco, and I'm also going to move to C-Zone 8 and just dump him in Paris. So there's going to be one extra okay. guy. So there's one extra guy. I actually literally calculated this down to the single guy. Um, as it turns out, he'll have a less than 12% chance on Berlin. And okay. at that point, when he's in when he's in Bulgaria, Romania, we'll be in West Russia. There's no way he can defend it mathematically. Um, we will be able to take it. And once we have Moscow, the game is over. Well... Let's get cooking. Well, do you like that? The only thing I didn't understand was the part about 7th Infantry. Oh, the 7th Infantry from Poland. My infantry from Poland are going to go into Belarus. I did the math on that. If we put 7th Infantry there and just your six planes and everything that's already there, um, he has a 48% yeah. chance. To, so it's a 50-50. Remember, we, we want him to do what he's been doing to us. We want him to attack. That's what we need. We want him to attack us. But yeah. if you add your three fighters to that battle, I didn't calculate them. That'll bring it down to probably like a twenty-five percent chance of he takes it. Do we want to give him the fifty-fifty? I think not really. No, because I want him to yes. think that we're making a mistake. I want him to go to Romania because we we actually technically okay, that's right. because once we have Moscow, the game's over. If he if we give him a 50 50 and he takes that battle, then we're back to where we were. I want to try to end the game. Looks like you have one missing piece. Is your sub in 64? No, that's just going to go to. Uh, that's just going to go to season 62 or something like that. Just to cause problems. Yeah, I like 62. Yeah, yeah, okay. Something like that. Let's do it. All right. Well, here we go. This is exciting. Let's go. All right, so we actually are not going to do any combat because we're going to let you take West Russia. Okay. There's no combat for me to do. Um, actually, I could build that one in West... I could, I could take it and build the one that I'm going to build in Karelia. Then he has a choice to bring three infantry at it with fighters... Uh, he, he, I don't know. He, he's going to need his tanks, so he's not going to take his tanks for that. No, I'll just, I'll just, we'll, we'll let you take it. You take it. You take West Russia. I'll stay here. Uh, so that's it. I, we actually have no attacks here for the U.S. after all that. So I'm going to click, uh, that's it for combat. Non-combat. Okay, so seven guys are going to go here. The rest are going to go here. That's it. Now, he can send four fighters against your 19 fleet, and you have only five units that can fight back, and they all fight at twos. I know. But he can't do both. He can't take Western United States and the fleet. I'm just going to run them. So, like, he's only got four infantry there. He's got no, uh, no bombarding units. Four infantry against... Uh, any aircraft, three fighters, and four units. Yeah. 
He's not so going. He has a forty-five, a forty-five percent chance to wipe my team. Wipe the fleet with his four fighters. Yeah. All right, let's leave one so there. Do then. you want to leave a fighter? Yeah, I think we'll leave one. And does that give you enough in Western? It does. Yeah, because um, he, he's still got. I, I, I built. I built the anti aircraft as well. Oh, let's make sure we get our defense profile set to that. Um, yeah, I got AA die first. So save, save. All right, AA is set to die first. I don't know what yours says, but. I'm just going to run the math on this. Okay. So you got AA, you have two infantry, one artillery, one tank, one fighter, and what are you mobilizing me? Uh, one fighter and one AA. So there will be two fighters total there. Yep. He has a 40% chance to take that. Really? It's that high? If you mobilize an extra infantry, it goes down to 21%. All right, so instead of putting him in Karelia, I'll put him in Western United States. Yeah, I think that makes both of those battles much safer. He's got a very, very big chance of losing his fighters in that battle, though. That's, uh, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that to happen. Oh, of course. Mind you, he can replace him from the guys in Japan, however. He can replace... Stuff to, much easier and quicker than this team. Yeah. I think West, I think Western United States will hold. And if it doesn't, then he deserves to win on a 20% battle. One way or the other, the game's going to be over. And that's what I'm trying yeah. to make. That's what I'm trying to make happen. I'm trying to avoid doing the whole stalemate thing again. I want to make an advanced move. So, so say oh, cool. now, let's give it a go. Say, for instance, he doesn't take the bait. Okay, then he's still two. He's still two away from Berlin. That means the guys in Baltic State now have something really productive to do. And we have extra terms to build. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's it's a win-win move for us, and only a lose move for him. I think. All right. So I can't move anything else. Got everything we needed to go. All right. Okay, let's go. Fighter goes here. AA gun goes there. He sees those AA gun. He's he's gonna. Uh... Wait. Do I want? Hold on. That should scare him off. That should scare him. Off. That's better. Yeah, he's, he, he'll lose planes there. He know he'll lose planes there. There's no, four infantry at one. That's like what? One every six turns, every six rolls? It's Yeah, well, it's the four planes, but yeah. Right. And if you shoot down a single plane, then this changes plumbing. Dramatically, right. Okay. Hey, there you go, buddy. Okay, and what am I buying? I'm buying uh, as you're, many infantry as I can. Absolutely, absolutely. You're going to have your planes land in Belarus, and you're going to have all of your units to Baltic State. So I'm going to get 12 units. I will get one or two. Okay. I'm going to take one dude. To get Norway. Let's see where his bombers are. Two, three, four. They, they can't reach. I already calculated it. They, yeah, they'll be safe. Cool. I will... Hmm. Okay, we'll set one guy into West Russia. And those are the only two attacks, correct? Yep. <laughs> I can hear somebody in the background saying, put your fucking podcasting right now. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a TV show. Oh. The only players in the building. So now we uh, just okay. we just picked up we just picked up as a team. Four IPC, two of which he won't get back. 
So now we have the lead back. It was 84 to 84. Now we have the lead back. Okay. 50, 88 to 80. Okay, we're plus 8. I like that. And so everything I have Baltic. is going to Baltic. Is that right? Well, everything that can reach Baltic, yeah. And then all of your planes to Belarusia and your France guys into Berlin. We don't need to... We don't want to leave a guy in Poland so he doesn't just blitz it or anything? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can leave one guy there. Or are we just going to take the back Actually, you can leave one guy in Poland and one guy in Bulgaria, actually. Yeah, you want me to do that? Yeah, I think so. Make them, still, make them think that we still want to defend those areas. Okay, should I put an extra infantry or two into Karelia? Because you know, right now all he has is three infantry. I know, but he can he can, he can bring all of his bombers and his fighter. I can take two from. I can take two from Baltic. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I think actually I, I calculated those two to be in Berlin if he does go to Romania. So I, we need them where they are. We need them where they are. He did can you take, count the two that were in Poland and Bulgaria then? Uh, I did count them, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. He only has a less than eighteen percent chance on Berlin. And then he will have blown his load, and we'll already be in Moscow at that point. So we actually get to go to Moscow before he goes to Berlin, which is fun. <laughs> okay, great. Nothing else. We have a very concentrated area. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, well, he can't. Yeah, he can't reach C Zone Six. That, that, tra that transport's safe there. He's fine. And you don't need me to put these extra Baltic guys into Belarus. Uh, well, according to the math, no. I mean, look at it. It's, we have seventy-one infantry plus. Uh, I can't see because of the thing there, but hold on. It is plus twenty-three, 23 artillery. Yeah, so we basically match him Six. already. All your fighters. So and nine fighters. Yeah, it's it's an it's more than enough. It's less than, I think, eighteen percent. Or no, it's less than. It's like a thirty percent. Hold on, actually, I still have it up. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. I think I have it up still. Thirty-two percent, which is perfect. That's what we want. It's tempting, but. Mm, he might see that and go, screw that. They're out of position. I'm going to go for Bulgaria Romania, and I'm going to be able to take Berlin. But let's remember, AD is a math guy. He's going to calculate all Did of that. Count... What? Yeah. Did you count the bomber in Buryatia? Uh, the bomber in Buryatia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, count it for what? As part of the attack. against us is attacking Belarus. No, I didn't, but I don't again, I don't really think that matters. It's 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 eighteen percent. I mean if it goes up to twenty five or even thirty percent, we'll offer them a thirty percent on Berlin. It's we'll, okay. I'm just gonna we'll have Moscow. The odds on Belarus if we add nothing else is twenty seven percent. Yeah. For him. And seventy two for us. That's so why I said about a 30%. If I add an infantry, if I add an infantry, it actually changes 5%. It goes down to 22.5%. I think that extra infantry will be needed in Berlin more than it is in Belarus. Remember, he, he, we're offering him a 30% right now on Belarus. That's way better than odds than he's been offering us. You know, he's been killing us on these one twos and we've been getting crushed. Let's 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 him do the attacking for once. Let's see how the game reacts to his attacking and us defending. Okay. Now, what do you think he will do? Well, he's a math guy. Um he's gonna calculate all of this before he even makes a move. 
He's going to see also that he only has 30% on Belarusia. He won't like that. Right, he won't like that. And he won't like the fact that we're going to be able to add 27 more, well, actually 31 more units next turn to Belarusia, where he can only add 15. <clears throat> so we're, we're doubling his output right now by going into Baltic. That was the whole plan, because it's a win-win. If he does nothing and he just trades these provinces back and, say, stacks West mm -hmm. Russia or stacks Ukraine, we still win, or we're still winning, because now we've got twice as many units in our stack than he can put in his stack at any given time. And he'll still be stuck in Belarus. We'll still be able to move through Baltic states and supply Belarus. Sorry. He'll be stuck in Ukraine trading Poland, Romania, and West Russia, adding 15 units a turn or what, 20... Well, whatever it is, it's somewhere it's usually on average between 15 and 20 a turn. Where we're at, we're adding, we're adding 30 a turn. Well, in this case, we'd be adding 22. Six, six, six. So, because yeah, because now the uh, the um, the uh, attack power, or not the attack power, but the buying power is going to even out. We're still going to have the lead, but this is where we'll start to feel it. So he's adding 20 or 22, we're adding 22 or 25. It's going to be that close, <laughs> you know? But but at least we'll have the position if he doesn't take the bite. If he puts everything he has into West Russia, that would be excellent. Yes. Well, not excellent, but it would, it would buy us turns. Right, we can like still... more than the two turns. We can still hold Russia. Belarusia. And would be and actually every, would be able to hold it almost buy. indefinitely. Right, right. We're inches away from fully. Indefinitely. And then we essentially Unless dead zone. We dead zone Ukraine and Karelia that way. So we're still. We, so we, here's. Let me. I'll tell you what I think he's gonna do. He's gonna send everything to Bulgaria. We're gonna react and go to Berlin. Then he's gonna send everything to Southern Europe. And then. Then he's gonna go to Italy. He's just going to go right around us. But he'll he would have lost he, he, he would have lost Moscow by then. You think so? Oh yeah, we'll be in West Russia. If he goes to Bulgaria or Romania, we're going to West Russia. I have forty units that can hit a West Russia. He can only put twenty three, twenty six there. If he moves everything to Bulgaria, or Romania. He can only put 26 there. I'll hit that first, and then you can come and follow up, and he won't be able to build enough to protect it. You'll have Moscow easily. Round 38. It's an interesting, or 39. An interesting situation. Look at all those planes you have. Well, good plan. Good idea. Good plan. So I like that. I like the, the difficulty of the choice that he has to make now. In every situation, we give them low odds, but not impossible, including in the fleet. Right. Right. Well, I was sitting here. He's you not going to take any of them. For the first 45 he's not, minutes. He's just going to build up. He's not going to do anything. Well, he has to respond eventually <laughs> because, um, oh, you think he's just going to hang out in Ukraine? No, because you know what? Here's the yep. thing. He doesn't want the Americans to be able to build those two extra units in Europe per turn. He doesn't want that to happen. And if I hold Karelia indefinitely, well, he could, I'll be able to do he that. He could still lightly trade Karelia. Yeah. But he's going to be forced to trade Karelia. I mean, next, next turn, I could start blasting Karelia with my fleet, which is a significant amount of units. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could take a northerly approach because you always have the threat of coming into C-Zone 5 to defend Berlin anyway. So, yeah, as long as we can always defend Berlin when he's a, a two turns away and we make sure that the math works, as long as we can continue to do that, we'll be able to continue advancing. Slowly, it will be slow. So, let, let me ask you this. I don't know how this works. If, if Say you take Moscow. What happens to Karelia? Because Russia's back in the game and they get their money back. Does Karelia revert back to Russia? I don't think so, actually. Or does it stay American? I think it stays American. We should. 
I'm not sure, but I think that it does. I might ask that. I might ask that in Discord because I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that situation. Yeah, I don't think I have either, actually. Which is kind of an interesting situation because I wanted to stay American. <laughs> okay, where are we on Victory City situation? It's six to nine. Nobody is close. We would need India, the Philippines, and Hawaii. That's what we would need. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> not, in, not in the next 30 turns. If he takes the bait, we've won. I think. I think if he goes to Bulgaria remaining with everything he has in Ukraine, we've won the game. Um... If you look at the odds, the odds of him taking Berlin are something like 18%. Odds of us taking Moscow are 100%. It certainly is interesting. And if he does go down there, it might be worth our while to get an AA game. Oh, yeah. I actually, I could have bought one right now. I could have bought one in France instead of that. Eh, I can buy one. one. (coughs) I can buy one. Yeah, I I, I could buy one. Uh, my guess is, here's what's going to happen. He'll probably maybe trade Poland and Bulgaria, and I think you're right. He think he might move in everything into West Russia. But then we've now dead, we've dead zoned Ukraine. So, and, well, not, but, and we're still inviting him to attack us. That's the whole point of moving the guys into Baltic, so we can st- keep filling Belarusia with guys. So that's going to be our pipeline, whereas... He, Say he pumps everything into Ukraine right now, and he just stays in Ukraine, and say he lightly trades some of this. Thing. Okay. Is is he refreshing his stack faster than we are protecting Berlin, or are we protecting well, Berlin? Well, then we've got to be careful. That's that's a valid point, but then we've got to be careful because we've got to calculate that. We've got to make sure that whatever he has in Ukraine, we can always get back to in Berlin. And then whatever's left over, we can continue to feed Belarusia. And the pipeline for us is Baltic. We will trade Poland, we will trade Bulgaria, and we'll pipeline guys to Baltic to Belarusia, Baltic to Belarusia. And, or Karelia, whatever the case may be. be, yeah. And that could be how we'll have enough guys in Baltic that we're always one turn to Berlin. Right. We always have two turns. We'll always have, if he's in Ukraine and stays there, I don't think he's going to stay there. I think he's going to move back to West Russia. I mean, he could. That's on Karelia? He could, I guess. But then we're going to get to a point where we're strong enough to actually hold West Russia. And then he'll be already in Ukraine, too far away to defend uh, Moscow. So we'll get to a point where we can defend West Russia and then crush Moscow. So he has to go to West Russia. That's right. He can't stay in Ukraine. He either has to go to Bulgaria or Romania, or he has to go to West Russia. He can't stay in Ukraine. I think Karelia is going to suddenly become very important, Karelia, because suddenly your production went from 13 to 50, and his went from from 14 to 12. Well, 17 to 15 if you count India. Right. I think Karelia is going to actually be really important. Yeah, so that's why a, a northern shuck isn't a bad idea for you at all, as long as you as long as right. you can continue to protect it. Which, you know, now in hindsight, maybe I should have sent like a destroyer along with that, but uh, it's not that big a deal. You could always build a ship if you need it. Well, I think, I think you'll be okay. I could I I could pull my planes off to protect. Yeah, that's true. But those planes are kind of nice. That is true. All right. Well, so so we, I think we've adjusted for every scenario. If I'm a betting man, I think so. Yeah. I think he goes to West Russia, which then we still win. We've won. Well, not won, but I mean we've won the battle of standoffs because. Well, we're back, baby. <laughs> yeah, we've won we'll the battle. We've done the bat. We won the battle of standoffs because we'll be able to dead zone Ukraine at that point. So. Cool. Good, good plan, man. I can't wait to see how it works. All right. Well, let's. We'll end it there. And uh, are you still playing right now online tonight? I got a game. I got Devi. I'm waiting for Devi to make his damn turn. Um, it's going to be exciting. I don't know if you're following that game, but uh, it from where the last video was, I think it's episode 16 right now, 15, um, to where we are, 
it's yeah. it's really coming down to like the wire. It's gonna be like oh, a that sounds yeah sounds it, interesting. It's a one two punch on you, my, what? Are you delaying your posting of those terms? Yeah, I have so to because I know he's a, he's a subscriber and he's watching my well, channel. How so. big is how big is the delay? Just a turn or two? Uh, turns? no, it's um. Well, I'll tell you in a second. Hold on, it's uh. Hold on. Good afternoon, everybody. I... It's so I'm round. The last one I uploaded is round ten. So we're actually on round eleven right now. So yeah, we're only about a round behind. But there's a lot. Cool. There's a lot that happens in between all those turns. So. Um... <laughs> There's a there's a lot of shit going on, but uh, I'm I'm gonna post maybe the, another episode later tonight. I'm waiting for him to take his next turn because his next turn is pivotal, because um, it's gonna tell me whether he's gonna wait for the UK to hit first or if he's gonna hit first with the Americans right now and Berlin. Either way, oh you can't ever go this. Either way, he's I calculate he's got a 1.8 chance of taking Berlin. All right, so you're saying this. So there's a. Oh hey, are you are you playing on Friday? Yeah, I'd like to. Did, did have, yeah, we got, have we got five so, guys? Cool. I know Artemis, and I think I uh, there was Not another. Really. There's uh. We're gonna have to do some recruiting. No, I got there's uh what's the name? Dolphin uh, said Dolphin said he he won't play this week, but he might play next week. Yeah, I got so, Darwick. Darwick wants to play. Uh, I think Vagabond said he would play uh, this Friday. And then I think Artemis. So that's five. That that rounds okay. up. That's five people, I think. Oh, that'd be great. So we'll start some uh, some recruiting threads. Yeah, start cool, man. Start now. Very All right, man. Cool. Hey, thanks for jumping on with me. I know it's been eight hey, fans, uh, subscribers. I know it's been two weeks, but and I'm not going to post this right away until uh, <laughs> until Dolphin takes his turn. <laughs> We're not gonna. We're not just gonna <laughs> zip this online. They're all on YouTube right away. So uh, forgive us for that. But. Uh, but definitely, that is definitely the thinking, and uh, I think it's a winning plan. It's definitely better than where we were because I felt that it was very demoralizing when I kept looking at it, and then 45 minutes later, it's, it dawned on me, wait a minute, we can defend both and still gain the advantage. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's good. That's All right, man. Cool. Thanks for watching, brother, yeah. or thanks for coming yeah. on, and uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and notifications bell, and share with our permission. Thanks for watching, folks.